I have a child Nick, and you have a child Nick. That's a common, right? So we try to retrieve the such employee information at the time. For each employee, why don't you take a look at the, this one? ESSN is the same as E dot SSN. ESSN is in the dependent, right? Mm -hmm. But this E dot SSN is in the employee. So for, in other words, for each employee, we'd like to learn this one. There's no way to execute the inner query first. Okay? This is called correlated query. Correlated nested query. It's a, this one and inside is a related. How can we execute this one? For each employee and execute this one. Next employee, execute this one. Next employee, execute this one. Okay? However, mostly this query can be implemented by join operation. So, uh, where the ESSN is coming here? ESSN is, you mean the, this one? Yeah. ESSN is from here. Ah, no. ESSN is from here. Okay, dependent. ESSN is the same, and his first name is the same. Okay? So, this can be implemented by join operation. Then, join operation will access the data, such a pattern. One employee, then next. One employee, then next. Okay? That is called a nested loop join. We will learn in the uh, query optimization, query processing, that is called a similar as this one. For each, access to this one. Okay. But you recommend, in Oracle, Oracle provide the inline view. It's not real table, but temporary table. Like the output of previous one, this one will be stored at the temporary, as a temporary table. Then you can join and you can access the such a data within uh, the same query. So those who are interested in the such a nested query, so you can take a look at the inline view, the, the technique used in Oracle. Nowadays, most of the, uh, the DBMS support the inline view, but it's not in our textbook. Yes? Yeah, uh, so which query is the better performance? Like, we can uh, perform same operation using Performance? That. You mean the performance? Yeah, join or nested query. The join, when you join the two tables like the employee and the dependent with the this join operation, you don't know how to access the data yet. There are a lot. For example, it looks like the, when you travel New York and Boston together, okay? So you just express, I'd like to travel New York and Boston. There are a bunch of different ways. First, you can go to the New York, then Boston. First, you can go to the Boston, then New York. You can, how can you go to Boston? You can take the train, you can take the flight, you can take uh, the taxi or drive by yourself. So that is just a join operation. But this one, you, in your itinerary, you can specify first going to the New York, then Boston. So this is the already fixed how to access data. We are not sure whether this is the best way, but in the join operation, it's just to show I'm traveling New York and Boston, then query optimizer will find the best way. And we will see details about that later. So this kind of query is not much used in real life system. But the, because of inline view, you'd better uh, understand what is the nested query. So this is exactly the same as the previous one. So we can use the join operation instead of the nested query. But we don't know how to access the data using the join operation. Query optimizer will determine. There is a, another set of operation, contains. Contains means the subset in terms of set operation. Subset is all element in A belongs to B. So, this for each employee. Run SQL block one. Run SQL block two. Then, for example, output of the first block is a piano is a P1, and this one is a P1, P2. So whether P1 contains this one, 
Does the P1 contains the P2? No. Either P1 contains the P1 and P2? No. So, which means this is this subset. Mm -hmm. So, in this case, P1, P2, then this is a P1, then this one contains the, this one. Then, if this is true, then this employee will be returned. Okay? This is another uh, set operation. It's a contain. In and contains. But I have not seen a lot of queries that use. In is used a lot because it's a very convenient instead of or. So you can uh, the use. However, contains is not much. But some of the data warehousing system, so it's a long learning query, uses such a contains and later exists. And also Cartesian product are used a lot. So exists. Exist means it's a, there exists a data or not. For example, here, so retrieve the name of each employee who has a dependent reason. It's the same problem as the correlated query, right? So for each employee, we are going to check whether there exists a dependent, which is the same as other. Same. The other employee whose dependent is the same as me, okay, employee. So there, if there exists, this is a true, so first name will be written. If not exists, there's no dependent whose the first name is the same, then not return. So at the time you can use the exist. Opposite of the exist is not exist. Not exist is a, in case this is a null data, then which is a true, then return. If there is a data not exist, it's not true, so not return. So exist and not exist also used a lot. This one is used a lot, and this is a very powerful okay, operation in case the data warehousing system. Okay. But you should be careful because uh, it will uh, use a lot of the resource in the computer. Okay. We already seen the uh, in operation. And what about the null data? Question. Does it make sense? Null is equal to null? It makes sense, but it's not going to work. It makes sense? It makes sense. So, for example, this cost is the same as this cost. Is there any ghost? No. How can you compare not existing thing? So it doesn't make sense. It's the same thing. Null means not existing. You cannot compare, you cannot count, you cannot do anything. But we want to know the attribute value, whether there is a value or not. So we decide to use the null to represent such a data. So to do that, we can use is null or is not null. So in case there exists the data, there is no data, is not will be true. So will be written. If you want to opposite, not null. In case is not null, then will be written. So this is the only way to operate, to compare, to uh, do with the null data. Okay? However, physical internal data structure not occupy the space. Why? Because anyway, you need to use the space to represent a new LR or the whatever, the null pointer or the special character. So it wastes of the space sometimes if you have a lot of null value. Okay, then the join. We can use the, this directly join, natural join, left outer join, right outer join, or cross join, or full join. Instead of the join operation, we can use left outer join, oh, not with, it's on. Last time. It's so on. Then join condition. We do not have where condition here. Instead, using the from close, we can join two tables which is not popularly used, but it's a standard. There might be no problem. Most of DBMS offset such a notation to join the table. This is a 
okay to table join. However, three, four, five, six table joins, it will be much more complicated. Okay? But clearly you can understand what is a join condition and which one is a driving table. Driving table means which one will be the first one and the second one, driven table. Professor? Yes. Is there any difference between the wire condition and the going condition? Why condition you mean? Wire? Wire. Where? Where? A uh, wear condition. Yeah. No difference. This is the same thing. Okay? Output is the same, but different notation. But uh, when do I use wire? When do you use going? It's a, your preference. Okay. okay? So somebody likes it this way, somebody likes it this way. But uh, in my case, I like that this way is clear. But this one is sometimes uh, too many keyword, reserved word. So it's not easy to understand. Also, in this case, you explicitly specify for employee, join with the employees. Employee join with the department. You specify the order. Okay? Sometimes that will be slower than opposite. So this one gives the more chance. For query optimizer, select the best of query. Yes? So, oh, what happens if we define different kind of output joints? Like, this is gonna. Then be output will be different. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, so, we can use that one? Oh, in this case, oh, that's a good question because this is not the outer joint. So, oh, this one is not the same. Good question. Because in this case, it's a left outer joint. Which means all employee will be listed. Then there, the supervisor name will be there. But the last one, James Book, does not have the so this one does not have the James Book, but this one has the James Book, right? To make them same, the so SSM, you can add the plus sign for the left outer joint, which means all S side, S is a supervisor, S is the supervisor, supervisor will be added even though that is not. Okay? So this is the left outer joint. Don't be confused. Plus sign will be opposite side. If left outer joint, left outer joint is the opposite. Right? Because you need to add null data to that. And what if the right outer joint? It will be plus left hand side. Okay, so that is the left outer joint. Yes, it's not the same. It's not can be written. It's a different because it's a left outer joint. Good point. And there are more examples of the joint. Two table joint. We have the joint condition. And this is the joint. In this case, this is the same because it's just a normal joint. The so employee joint. Department on joint condition. Okay? Natural joint is not used a lot. Just in case you have a common name. So I'm going to skip the natural joint. Okay? So this is the example of the three table joint. Can you understand easily? It's not easy. So in case of the three table, four table joint. First, the project join with the department with this join condition, after that, join with the employee with this join condition. However, it's clear the select condition will be in the where condition only. Aggregate function. So we have learned about the this one and grouping factor and count, which means so for each department, how many employees? SSN. So we can use the same thing So with aggregate function. What kind of aggregate function? Max, minimum, and average, and sum, count. There are more, like the standard deviation, but these are the mostly used aggregate functions. So First, grouping. So, for each group, okay, for each DNO, we'd like to count all employees. So, at the time, you can use 
group by closed. So there's a space group, space bar. It's a reserved word. That list of the grouping things. Sometimes D N O plus D main. That D N O D main. One more important thing is when you list the aggregate function, count average salary. We are going to add the grouping factor in addition to the aggregate function. Why? Why? If we om omit this part, we don't know which count is this. Because if you list up the only count and average, we don't know which count of this, the, the department number one, how many? We don't know. So because of that, always grouping factor, group by. This one is the same as here. It was error, old version of DBMS. Nowadays, they allow. The, without this, you can list up. But practically no way to find which one is which. Okay, so some may suggest to use synchronize group by factor and uh, select list. Even though this is not in the list, you need to uh, do that. What does that mean? Asterisk. Salary is okay. So we can calculate the average of salary. Count. Asterisk. Or automatically it used I mean. Then T will be used as the risk means T. Why? Because number of all tuple is the same as number of primary key. Okay? Primary key will be used. One more thing. So this is the DNO. So define huh? EMP. What will be the output of the count asterisk? What about DM? What about EMP? which means input will be entire group, one group. That is not this one. It's not error. This is the same thing. Count, count all employee. Count all the employee who is satisfied with this one. In case of grouping, you can specify the group by. What if I'd like to return only whose number of employee is bigger than two? So, 
where count is a bigger than two is not working. Why? This where condition is a select condition. Select condition is before grouping or after grouping. It's a before grouping. You select the data, then group by, make the group. First select the, first from the employee, select the whose salary is more than 100. Okay, first check the 100, higher, higher than 100. Then group by department, then the calculate. So we cannot count before grouping. So it should be after grouping because of that we have another Close is a heavy. Heavy is a condition of group. Because it's after grouping. So count. This is the most missed part of the beginner when you learn the sequence. So this condition is not a select condition. This condition is after grouping. So we have the special close that is a heavy. The heavy is the after grouping. Like the, this one, heavy, after grouping, count higher than two, then return. SQL, uh, I think I probably mentioned about the benefit of using SQL. SQL, when I learned the C language the first time, how many of you are learned the C language? What C++? What is the most difficult part of learning the C? Pointer. Because of that string, actually there is no data type in C. String is nothing but array, pointer. So very hard to manage the string. Compare the two string last name, no. You need to check element by array by array until null pointer. So because of that, SQL provides very nice, convenient string management function. That is the like. So, for example, address that include the Houston. Left hand side, percentile, anything. Right hand side, percentile means anything. So, if you eliminate this part, ending with Houston, comma, Texas. If you remove this part, beginning with the Houston, comma, Texas. Both sides, if you have, that is the include, the Houston command taxes. So you can use the like function, like operator, only for string. It's like will be used for only SQL. Also, underbar means for each byte. So in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eighth byte should be five. Other is okay, but it can, you can check the number of bytes the location of the data using underbar. Definitely, you can use any arithmetic operation plus minus the multiply and division in the column, the select. Okay? So you can just, if you want to increase your salary by 10%, 1.1 times the salary. That's a 10% increase of your salary. Okay? directly use. What if I want to list up the data? Because when you select the data, data will be selected as it is in the database system. It's not sorted. It's just as it is. But sometimes you want to list up by the uh, ascending order, descending order, or alphabetical order. This frequently happens. What the list, the list Recently, review the data, or at the time we can use order by the column name. Just a straightforward. What does it mean? Two column, order by D name first, then the LA. Ascending, descending, ascending is the default. If you do not specify anything, it will be automatically ascending. But if you want to descending, DSC. Okay? Right, ascending is a, a to Z is the default, but if you want the opposite, then you can specify the DESC. 
So how can we use DSC? Divide the ESC. It's a descending order. Then, this is a quick summary of everything that we covered today. Select from these are the mandatory and where is the condition, what kind of condition, select condition and join condition. Also join can be implemented in the from the join with the all. In case of a grouping factor, so you can use the group by. Be careful, grouping factor should be existing in the attribute list selection. And if you have any condition for the grouping factor having and order by will be useful to arrange the data by the specific color. Any question? It doesn't take a time because we learn relational algebra first. Okay? This is just implement. They are slightly different, like the, uh, the duplicate data, okay, or the some union operation. So otherwise, it is mostly same as that. Then, not only just select the data, as you learned in your data structure course, there are four basic operations in the, any data structure. One is a fetch. Fetch is select, update, delete, update or modify, and delete and insert data. Okay, so database language SQL also provides insert, delete, update operation. So let's see the insert. The keyword is insert into table name and specify the values. Okay? Then after that, inside the parentheses, this value is the corresponding color of employee. It should be the same order as what you create. When you create the first First name, middle language initial, last name, the social security number is the same order. However, if you want to specify, I want to insert only first name, last name, social security number. After employee, you need to specify the column name. It can be different from the what you create. So like the first name, last name, social security number, value is the same thing, but you should follow this order to insert the data. However, what if employee has the other constraint, foreign key, or none -none. You should follow. If you do not uh, satisfy with uh, such a condition, constraint, you cannot insert the data. Okay. So that is the, also, any SQL statement and with semicolon. Sometimes you can Uh, this is our uh, insert. So sometimes you can insert the data, insert into department, okay? Then not the value by selecting. By selecting the data from other table, you can insert the data. So insert into this table by selecting. How to select? This one. Selecting the data, then you can insert the data. Also, there is another option, create the table as a select. Which means when you create the table, it's automatically select the data and insert the data. You can do all together at one time. Delete. To delete the data, delete from table name. Then, if you want to delete everything, that's it. However, if you have the condition like the delete only brown, you can specify the condition with the where clauses. Or you can delete, what if there are many browns? All tuple that has a brown will be deleted. Okay? This one, the employee, which has the number, all of these should have this. And also this one is what? Where condition that we have seen the correlated query? DNO in this one will be deleted. If you want to delete everything, this. However, you should be careful if this employee has the constraint, such as 40 key, it may not be deleted. At that time, 
cascade. You can give the option cascade, or you need to disable the constraint to delete the data. Because of that, many of the database administrator disable all constraint without foreign key. Think about your programming language project. At that time, you probably used the SQL Server or MySQL. But then you just create without any foreign key. You just create. Some of them create a primary key, but sometimes even you ignore the primary key because of the constraint limitation. Update. You can update the data. Update table name. Set. Because we update, change the value, this column as the this. Comma, if you have another update, dinner is a file. If you do not specify where, all tuple in the project will be updated. If you have the condition, you can specify the condition. That is the update option. Update of operation. So you can combine with the other where condition, like the correlated query condition, or Employee who satisfied that this will be updated. So insert, delete, update. The last one is assertion or trigger. What is assertion or trigger? So sometimes we have user defined customized constraint, like the for example, my rule. I own the company, that in my company there is a policy, no employee can have the salary higher than me. Okay? Then if somebody HR or the payroll department, they update the data, update the salary like the using the, this one, okay? In case the 10% increase, some of the employee is higher than me, so you need to check every time, every time. No, it's not convenient. So, if that is your constraint in your data specific, data domain specific constraint, at that time, we will create a solution. Mostly, it's uh, implemented as trigger nowadays. So it's not different. Create the trigger, create the uh, solution. What does that mean, trigger? If you find, pull the trigger, and bang, right? Same thing. If something happen, event happen, then check the condition, then do action. That is an ECA that I showed the last time. So for example, if the salary is updated, that's not an event. That's not an event. So check the condition, whether new salary is higher than mine. That's the condition. If yes, then fire him. <laughs> or the save the data. Or inform. Or the even the the reject the update operation. So you can do action. So that can be implemented by the assertion or trigger. So there is a, you can create this kind of the service pro 